This video will be a brief demonstration on the random generation. So last night, I rewrote the entire script to be more flexible than ever before. So after studying a few documents on procedural generation using grids, I was able to use a different reference to help generate grids on the fly. I took the methods, applied them into Papyrus, which allowed me to create a procedural but also random room that could potentially have an unlimited size. However, I don't see myself actually making something like this, or having it have that sort of unlimited size due to constraints with arrays and limitations on that part. So around 128 or so, that's when the array starts to bug out for its contents and objects inside which is really just the norm because 128 is the maximum elements that you can have inside of an array. So here's a clip of me flying out of the map while the tiles generate. And as you can see, it's rather slow, but it's not painfully slow. This is due to the sheer number of objects being placed, move, rotated, and repeat. You can definitely make for some great dungeons once we get the development tiles loaded into the game, but that about sums up this video, and I just wanted to demonstrate the generation. So, see you in the next one.